Hello and welcome back to the second video on building a realistic eye here. So I've gone ahead and uh, jumped into Photoshop here and I have downloaded this uh, eye texture and I will provide this in the description. And I've also gone ahead and created this reflection map from that. And uh, I will also provide this, uh, this file too. So we're gonna go ahead and start building up the materials for this eye. So I'm gonna right click and choose hide selection as I just wanna hide the reflection for now. I'm gonna press the M key to bring up the materials and I'm just going to uh, drag in this uh, basic eye material, press okay. And I just wanna assign this to this center eye here. Now, as you can see, it's just a little bit off. Okay, and uh, that's an easy fix. All we've simply got to do is go down to uh, modify and choose unwrap UVW, oops, I mean, UVW, uh, unwrap UVW, let's see. There we go, unwrap UVW, choose open, and we're gonna select the texture, there we go. And all we need to do is just position this into place. Something, something around here, okay, let's just scale this in a little. And pull this out. Okay, so that's that looks fine. We play around with this a little more if we like. But I'm just gonna leave that how it is. And so you can see we have uh, we have the pupil in there and iris and so on and so forth, and that looks perfectly fine. So next thing we need to do is uh go to rendering, render setup. And we're going to change the uh, rendering type. So we're going to go to assign render. And we're going to go down to use mental ray. And the reason for this is we're going to be using subsurface scattering. So I'm just going to scale this eye up a little bit. As I believe it's just a little bit too small. And I'm going to go down to, let's see, um, customize, unit setup, metric. And I'm going to change this to millimeters. And this is because uh, subsurface scattering works on a real world basis. So we need to use some uh, some real world values here. So let's just select this and I'm gonna go to UVW map and just keep it as planar. Okay, and this is gonna project that uh, texture directly onto the surface here. So with a new slot selected, we're going to click standard and we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says subsurface scattering fast material, press OK. And we need to go through and just alter just a few of uh, these values here. So um, the first thing we want to do is where, it, where under the um, uh, unscattered diffuse color, I'm going to click the little checkbox or the little box there, choose bitmap and we want to bring in the eye. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it inside the um, uh, front surface scatter color. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to set this to 1 and 1. And then we're going to choose 0 and then 10 and 10. And uh, that looks fine. We need to change the specular color. I'm going to change this to black. And we want to enable this option down here. And uh, that's, that's about it. So we can assign this over here. And if we want to see the texture on this, just go inside one of these, uh, ones, inside one of these texture map modes and assign that. And we can see that that's been assigned perfectly fine. Now, what you'll notice is that when you rotate around this, you see that the eye is on the opposite side there, but that's not to worry about too much as uh, yeah, you're never really gonna see the uh, back end of the eye here. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and, and unwrap this a, a little bit better, okay? But uh, for the purposes of the uh, video, or the purposes of the tutorial, I'm gonna leave it how it is. So now I'm gonna go to um, unhide all okay let's see is it not okay so unhide 
there it is so the reason this didn't show just a minute ago was uh, actually because it was inside um it was actually inside here if you remember correctly we, we scaled the eye up so if that happens just um just scale it back up and uh, that's what i just did there i i actually just paused the video to to figure out what was going on okay so so the next thing we need to do is deal with the uh, reflection here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to press the M key to bring up the material. And um, we are going to go ahead and choose standard. And we're going to choose arc and design. Okay. And inside the arc and design, um, we need to change a few things. So I'm going to leave the diffuse how it is. Um, the reflection is going to be uh, one by one. So we've got one and one. And what we can do is actually assign this so we can see what's going on here. So the reflection is uh, exactly what it is. It's just the uh, the reflection of uh, of the light here. Okay. And inside the color, we want to choose that reflection map that we created. So let's go ahead and uh, look for that and assign this like so and we're going to go ahead and use this uh, uvw map and i'm actually going to drop down to the gizmo here and just scale this up just a little bit just so it touches this of um ring of um edges here so we'll go back and so the reflection is going to control the reflection the refraction is going to control how the light behaves when it passes through this material okay so for this we're going to choose one by one again so the translucency is going to make this so we can see and keeping the glossiness how it is and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this from realistic to shaded okay so we don't get that little gray noisy thing there as it's trying to deal with uh, real-time reflections we want to change the IOR or the index of reflection just simply down to one. Okay, and um, that's about it for this section. Yeah, that's about it for this section. Let's have a look anything else that needs to change so the last thing we need to change here is going to be under under the uh, special effects here and we want to click this round um, corners and this will generally round our bevel or corner in this particular case that's it's not really something we need as this is already smooth but we want to just use this option that says blend with uh, other materials here this is just going to make it blend much better and we're going to choose around 0.7 ish so here's what we get if we go to uh, render and render this um, we actually won't get any reflection at the minute um, but first of all let's place a light in here so I'm going to place one light here and I'm going to set this to shadows ray trace and I'm going to choose about 0.8 and I'm going to make a copy of this over here Choose copy and I turn this off. So it's about point two. Okay. So if we render this, um, we will get this highlight here, but we want to get no reflection. So if we choose render, you can see that while we do get the um, the sort of hot spots here and the glossiness, you want to get no reflection for this. And what we need to do to uh, make this work is I'm going to select a new empty slot here. I'm going to click standard and um yeah let's see i'd say probably best if we go to rendering or render setup okay so yeah here's what we do we'll go to rendering environment actually and uh next to environment map we're going to press none and uh i'm going to go ahead Choose bitmap and I'm going to jump over to a uh, folder. I have some uh, HDRs in here, so 
I'm going to select this one and press OK. And I'm just going to drag this over here. Choose Instance, Environment, and uh, this should be fine. Let's just uh, check. So if we go to uh, render, choose render, and you should see that now we actually have some reflection. Now obviously we have this uh, background here, it's probably going to be best if we choose some other type of background, or if we overwrite this. Okay, so let me just try something a, a little bit more appropriate here. Um, render, render setup, oh, sorry, render environments. And uh, what I'm just going to do is going to drag this over as an instance. And let me just change this out here. So let me just go ahead and locate a folder here. So let's see. I have a bunch of uh, HDRs here. So I'm just going to click on some of these, see what we get. Okay. We may get something a little better. Let's, let's try something like this. And press OK. Choose render. And render. Okay. So you see, we still get that reflection there. Okay, we need that other um, HDR. So let's uh, jump back over here, here, and we'll just use this for now. Okay. Now, obviously, we, we need to override the background, make sure this doesn't appear in here. But if we go to render, render setup, then uh, you can definitely see what's going on here. So just to make this just a little bit easier, I'm just going to do a quick fix here. And do something like this. Okay. Set up just a basic, um, or some, somewhat of a, a basic studio-ish sort of stuff here. Table smooth, press M. Select an empty slot here. I mean, it's fairly close to black, not, not, not so much. And assign this over here. And uh, hopefully we should still get uh, that nice reflection inside the eye here. Or is it too close? So I'll select this. Click on the eye, choose exclude. Let's call this. Backdrop. Okay. And choose exclude and exclude the backdrop and do the same over here just for the sake of it. Okay, so we no longer should get that shadow there in the back. Render, render, and uh, there you see we have this nice reflection inside our eye. Okay, so once you have some um, skin in here, some, some actual eyes and so on and so forth, then uh, this will look. Uh, much better. Now if you want to control that, okay, we can go down to M over here, and uh, if we were to, we could start dealing with the outputs here. So enable clamps. Um, let's see, reduce this to about 0.5, So if you start decreasing this, 0.05. We'll get different values here, so this will be less intense, as you can see. So just playing around with these values, and we get different reflection values. So the higher this value, the more reflective it's going to be. So, let's 
trying something nice. So I'm just going to leave it as uh, as this around this value here. So this is basically how we would build uh, somewhat of a uh, realistic looking eye. It has all the uh, pieces here. And um, once we go ahead and build the uh, sort of rest of the face here and, and have this set in there, it will look uh, it will look very nice there. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. So just before the video ends, you can see I've just built a very basic, um, just a very basic eye socket, I guess, here, just to give you an idea of uh, how this would look inside an actual eye socket. So um, thank you for watching, and again, I'll see you in the next video.